Welcome to Neon Orange 456. I am Kornak and I am currently playing StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty. As you can see here, I am playing T vs. T on easy with uh, normal game speed, 1 vs. 1. Very simple, very easy since I don't really play this game that often since I just started playing it, so I don't expect to do anything better. I've got the handicaps both on 100% and life is good. We are starting the game. So, I haven't really played StarCraft 2 at all before this, so this should be quite interesting. I maybe played something like two games, lost both of them terribly since I had no idea what I was doing, but now that I have the uh, shortcuts sitting in front of me for this game, uh, it should be a bit better. Destructible rocks can be destroyed to open up new paths. We are playing on the Discord 4 map, which has some um, nice, more raised areas where you can uh, expand pretty easily to, and then your uh, middle area with some lower stuff. Pretty easy to block people in because of the layout of the map since you only have one area where you can get out of your base. So unless they have flying units, which they normally do, it's pretty easy to contain stuff. So we'll just wait for this to load and it has loaded. As you can see here, I am in the north on the west of the battlefield and send some SCVs to do stuff. I keep forgetting that you actually have to have minerals to make a refinery, but that's just me. Oh well. So we're just going to gather up some minerals here, not doing this as a replay, just doing it as a my footage, uh, since you really don't want to see what the other AI is doing because it's not easy and it's an AI, so not too important. So as you can see there, I've built up a refinery. This is on a normal game speed, so you're not really going to be able to see that much happen that quickly. So this will be a very slow game, it takes something like 20 minutes or so. So we're just going to keep building up our SCVs, get our refinery count going, get the resources developing. Can't really do much at this phase because you don't have that much here. Basically I'm just producing lots of SCVs, getting more resources since SCVs essentially exponentially count. The more you have, the more you can make, the more which means that you can make more, which means that you can mine more, which means that you can make more, which means that you can mine more, and so on. It's very, very, very easy to go. So we're just going to have something like two SCVs on the refinery since at this point we aren't, and given my battle strategy, we won't really need too many uh, gas things. I'm mainly going for foot marines, marauders, maybe the occasional helium, but not too many, as well as some uh, SCVs. So we're just going to start the supply depot chain building. I'm still trying to work on this, so as you can see, uh, as you will see rather, in this game, I will occasionally run out of supply depots, which is not too wonderful. But for the most part, we're just going to be building up our resource supplies as usual. And training as many SCVs as humanly possible to train. And having them build more stuff and life being good. So after we finish building the supply depot, we should be able to build a barracks once we get enough resources, which is why I'm producing all these SCVs. Re barracks will cost about 150, so going to need a bit more beyond this. Major investment though, because once you have barracks you can actually start creating combat units. What I really should have done here is started sending out my SCVs early to start building up the uh, sensor towers and scouting, but since this is easy AI you don't really lose too much by not doing that. So instead we're just going to have him build a barracks. And wait for the other SCVs to actually mine stuff for me. And there we're going to go back to the command center and debate whether to build an SCV, assign it to button 5. Will we build an SCV? No, we won't. Alright. Or maybe we will. That is the great question that humanity shall ponder. So over there in the right, we're going to assign the command center's waypoint to there so that all my SCVs will go over there. Unfortunately, that does get a bit confusing because it's pretty hard to tell which SCVs are where, and we'll train some SCVs since we have a lot of spare resources. And one thing you don't want in StarCraft is to have too many spare resources, even early game. Although early game, you don't have to worry so much because you're still building up your base. Also, what I should have done is built my barracks further out because then you get your uh, soldiers and all that out there. It creates more of a buffer for your command center and the barracks can always be moved because it's flying barracks. But I don't do that, so oh well. We'll build another four SCVs just because we can. And ha he's finished mining, so he'll go back to there and we'll pop in some marines. Rather than build a tech lab, for that we'll want a second barracks so that we can uh, build marauders and such. 
Always nice to have two barracks. Unfortunately, I'll probably locate it in the wrong direction. So, pop in some more marines. Once you have marines going, you can uh, get some nice stuff, do scouting, harass them on their supply points, that kind of thing. And we'll pop down our SCV down to one of the towers so that we can get some sort of vision blocking in the way. No uh, sense of towers yet, but we can wait for that. We'll pop in some more marines, hopefully. Yep, here come our marines, mighty marines of awesomeness. Well, our SCV horde continues to mine. As you can see up there, I've missed that one SCV who's decided to just sit there the entire time. Not great. Not wonderful, in fact. So, he, they'll just... Actually, now we have three SCVs just sitting there. Which is why you really shouldn't put your waypoint for your command center anywhere else. That's why we lose terribly. Actually, no, we don't lose terribly in this game, spoiler alert. So, as you can see there, I'm developing a lot more resources, unfortunately, so we will send an SCV off to build another bit of building. Probably an engineering bay. And, as you can see, I've run out of supply depots because I forgot to do that. Missed that guy on the tower there, so lost a good amount of time on the uh, sight lines, but unfortunately, fortunately, not unfortunately, it's a easy game, so the AI is not going to exploit that. So we've got our marine horde developing, our horde of marines, who we've assigned to button one. The Naga is wonderful for this, by the way. And we're going to finally pop in another supply depot. I should really keep these changed building, but I have issues remembering that. And our engineering bay is complete, so we can start building a lot more stuff. He's scouted out the upper area just to make sure there isn't anything there. So we have pretty good sight lines along the front and top of the map quite nice. Don't have anything maintaining that with because I haven't built any sensor towers, but at least we have sight lines. I'm once again developing a whole bunch of resources, which can get annoying. And we've completed our second supply depot. Supply depots are always good because it means you can actually produce units, and units tend to be important in this somehow. I don't know where I get that impression from. I've signed all my SCVs finally to mining rocks. Such a entertaining job. I've always dreamed of mining rocks. So there's another one who's decided to abandon himself. And here we are going to build a second barracks so that we can produce a tech lab, start producing marauders, get the whole uh, strategy going. Uh, let's see. The whatever you call them, SCVs, are once again building up on this side again. Note to self, move the uh, waypoint next time I play this game, but oh well. And we're going to put in our first sensor tower, roughly middle because we've got the two towers up there maintaining the sight range. Can't put it on the angle thing because he's too far away so we'll just build it right there instead. So that should pretty much cover their uh, entrance. They won't be able to get out too far without me noticing although there is the uh, bottom option which I forgot to cover so I don't have total coverage. They can still sneak out the back a bit and I have a lot of SCVs. Not as many as, as I would like, and there are still two just sitting there. So we'll put on another refinery so that we can get the gas flowing in preparation for the uh, helium salt wave, which we may or may not need. As well as a factory so that we can actually produce the heliums that we're mining all this gas for. So he's completed his sensor tower there, meaning that we have pretty good coverage of the east. Yes, east is a word. Did you know that? And so he'll pop on down south towards the uh, exit of the enemy base, which is conveniently located directly across from mine. Oddly, it's as if they planned this or something. So he's sitting around there, going in there, on his magical journey of joy. I don't know why I'm putting him there, but oh well. We're going to spot a tech lab on the f uh, barracks over there, because we can. So, or maybe a reactor. One of those two. Didn't quite catch that. And then here we have the first assault by the enemy. They are attacking my innocent little sensor tower. How sad. And they've put in a uh, sensor tower of their own based on the circle location. It's probably located right on the edge of their base area. So we'll have to destroy that in order to get some stuff in without them noticing. But once again, easy AI, easy to exploit. We're going to start producing our marauders so that we actually have good defense, and we have five marauders running. Lots and lots of resources. Too many resources. And once again, we have a spare SCV. As usual. 
All right, so we've completed the second refinery, meaning that we can now mine a lot more gas, keep it going, and we've got the factory built too. I don't notice that SCV that's sitting right by the factory though, unfortunately, and we've completed our sensor tower down here, so there you can see that it covers the uh, exit for their base area, meaning that we've got total coverage of them. Now granted I don't have any bunkers set up, so I can't actually do anything to them once they exit, but at least I'll know they're coming somewhat. And here's that group that was killing my sensor tower over the earlier, just in time to be brutally annihilated by my marine mightiness. And here goes one guy fleeing. Can he make it? No, he can't. And he dies terribly. I should really start sending out some marines on scouting, but I don't do that. So, oddly, here I'm putting a sensor tower there instead of the previous location, which probably would have been a better idea, but. Oh well, we can live with it. Doesn't kill me. And we'll just set our waypoints for the two locations over there. Make it nice and easy. He's going to pop in some five more marines or so and maybe buy a marauder or two. Just one. Alright, so then SCV Bill is either going to build supply depot, which would be the good idea since you always want one SCV constantly building supply depots, or going to build me something else. An armory, yes. I don't know why I'm building an armory, because that has no real effect since I don't need any Thors, but we can live with that. Oh well, we have a lot of resources. And meanwhile, you have a bunch of SCVs just sitting there as usual. I really need to work on that. Meanwhile, our SCV down here, who's doing all the tough work in life, is continuing his scouting role and building up some sensor towers for me. Got lots of nice overlapping coverage, and he's going to head over to the other location. What will he do? Let us see. These guys here are going nicely. Getting the army developing, should be able to start scouting with them sometime soon if I ever decide to do that. And we've got our first Helion developed. Yay! Congratulations, Helion. It's your birthday. Meanwhile, we've still got that one SCV sitting there, although I finally noticed the SCV sitting next to the factory. Took me long enough, sadly. And so he will continue to uh, mine the minerals that provide us with sustained life. What I really should do right now is build a uh, second expansion, well, first expansion, but unfortunately I'm not doing that. A second expansion would be really, really nice because then I get access to the other minerals which are conveniently located on the uh, same area as my current base. I, I could even just send some SCVs to mine there, but I don't, sadly, since these mineral fields will get depleted any time now. Even though it's on slow, they still get defeated, depleted really easily. Our marauders are still developing, which is quite nice, although we've forgotten to keep the production going on there. And we'll keep those guys riding, riding. I should build another supply depot. Don't know if I do, but I really should. I only have seven slots left. And then he's completed the third sensor tower down here, so hopefully we'll move down and on the uh, main base so that we get the total coverage of what they're doing. There doesn't seem to be anyone wandering around, but you never know. Could be something in stealth mode or something, maybe a fly bit fly things are we're actually going to do a whole lot of damage to me right now because I don't have much beyond my marines that can combat them. I really should build some missile towers, but since I haven't actually scouted the enemy base, which is what I should have been doing with a couple marines, I don't actually know if they're building flyers or not. Pity. Hint, they aren't building flyers because they're easy AIs and have no idea what they're doing. Not enough minerals. Normally I would expect to at least have a banshee or something coming after me at this point. But they don't seem to like that. He's going to pop in the supply depot that I need, although too late to keep up a constant production cycle, sadly, so that's not going to turn out so well. Meanwhile, our SCVs are going to continue their poor, boring, droll labor, trying to maintain a steady mine supply for the greedy demands of warfare and failing terribly. So we'll just send another guy on the supply depots who will continue to build up our stream. We only have two supply depots though. So he's going to try and build up a sensor tower, forget that it actually costs money, haha. -ha. So we've got our attachment of scouting going down there, ready to harass their base. Well, he builds up the last sensor tower that we need. 
I sh next game I should really try and start building bunkers down there, work on my blocking techniques, get the scouting going, since this is basically just me building up resources, not too much actual effort. And you can see that they have a rather large group of people wandering towards me. Oh, wrong direction, and they're not going towards my little army detachment down there, so I should best get ready for them. Glad I put those sensor towers in. What I should also do is build up one right by my base, but I don't do that, so that means I can't really see them coming. So they're going to head up there. They don't seem to be going after my sensor towers, oddly, although they did stop by the Tower of Vision to see what I was doing there. Looks like probably three Helians and some Marines and Marauders heading towards me, so this should be an interesting little conflict. Now I'm going to finally decide to put in a sensor tower right there. We'll see if he can complete it before they arrive. Although, it doesn't look like it. I'm going to send out a little band of five Helians to start blocking while I wait for them. And, oh look, it is three Helians. So hopefully we can annihilate them pretty quickly since we outnumber them by a fair bit. And looks like two Marauders and three Marines also attacking me. So, should be a quitty, pretty quick fight. And he goes down, meaning that we have just obliterated another chunk of the army. Based on the fact that it's an easy AI, that they're probably sending all their army against me one at a time. So, yet again, I've just annihilated their army. Good for me. Yay. So, meanwhile, down south, we seem to have forgotten about our lovely, lovely little people, and I've decided to build a supply depot on time for once. Always a nice thing. And here we go, our lovely band of warriors combined with the SCV expanding. I should have built an expansion, but I didn't. So they're going to start actually scouting out the base, hopefully knock out that center tower which has been annoying me so that I can get the rest of my army in pretty undetected. And oh my, there appears to be a bunch of marauders. And down goes my Helion. Ouch. Although they are running away now, so they appear not to have actually noticed the rest of my army, or they did inside to flee in terror. So we're going to knock out this sensor tower and we've just rendered them blind. I could use a stim pack, but I won't. So now we've come upon their actual base, there's that Marauder Detachment, can we knock them down? They have a home field advantage, they seem to be knocking down my marines pretty quickly, not wonderful. Ouch, just lost two in one round, am I going to lose a third? I could, yes, no, I don't lose a third, instead he just goes down to almost ill health. Not great for him, but he's still alive, so he can shoot stuff. Unfortunately, they now have their SCVs going after my after the target, so now I'm just going to pop shots at my barracks and hopefully distract them, but he has some other SCVs to do that. So instead, we're going to knock out their SCV chain, because hopefully that means that we can actually do something to them. Hopefully. And they've just popped in another Marauder, seem to have been building up a bit of a scouting force when we pop knocked into them. Good timing. I do ha seem to have lost all my marines, though, unfortunately. So they are down. Meanwhile, we've got three marauders and a marine still alive. Insert portal song here. So we're going to continue taking down their SCV resources. Hopefully, we can actually start knocking down a building. They should really be uh, killing the barracks. No, I don't wish to surrender. I wish to crush you with mighty force. So, and then comes another Marauder who we kill rapidly again, although he brought down another one of Marauders too, ill health. If this keeps up and if I keep forgetting to target the barracks, this could not turn out so well. Meanwhile, I've got the rest of my army headed south to the base area, their base, not mine, to continue the purge, since they don't seem to have too many defenses and since nothing has snuck out around me. Since, as you'll notice, there's a critical lack of any fly units, and lack of flying units, I'm completely forgetting that there's a marine back there, but fortunately, the rest of my army's Helians come in just in time to knock him down. And down goes a charged husk of a marine. Meanwhile, our advance force is losing health pretty rapidly, and the other force has a um, fair mix of health and not healthy marines. We're finally going to remember to take down their barracks, and in comes another Marauder just before I can take it down. Sadly, the sensor tower appears to be blocking him, but not too bad. Meanwhile, we're going to knock down the command center sensor tower, basically anything I feel like at the moment, because they don't have any SCVs to kill me now. We've just taken down the barracks, so hopefully that'll mean no more annoying things, as well as a factory, so no more Helions. Basically, no more everything. Uh, 
only two unit producing buildings left, I believe, so this should go pretty nicely from now on. Just took down the, one of the SCVs he just spawned. And unfortunately for him, he doesn't seem to have anything running at the starport, so this looks like it's going to be it for him, unfortunately. Now, all that remains is the cleanup operations, and they have some very dirty laundry. So we're going to just take down the command center, take down the reactor. He builds up another SCV, unfortunately stupidly sends him after the minerals. Meanwhile, I've got 3,500 minerals developing right there, so probably should be spending them, but don't really need to. There's a tech lab and a reactor and such building over there, so that's a bit annoying, but oh well. Nice thing about supply depots is that you can raise and lower them, and you can fly barracks and stuff, so it's pretty easy to reconfigure your base whenever you feel like it. And we have victory! Let's pop over the score screen to see how we did. If you look here, we have the glorious score screen in which I totally dominate the enemy with something like double his points. So I have lots of resources, lots of units, lots of structures, lots of everything. On the economy, the average unspent resources for me was 1554, so not great. I should really work on that. Resource collection rate was way up there. Workers created, way up there. And total resources in general, pretty far up. Now, naturally this isn't as far as up as it could be, but it's pretty close. Units tab. Trained a lot of units, killed a lot of units, built a lot of structures. He killed 12 of my units, though, so that's not too bad. And as you can see here, we have a very similar starting thing, although he doesn't have as great. It's very SCV and building aligned, which is something you probably don't want to do, since buildings don't tend to help you, they tend to be... A waste of resources unless they're well not a waste of resources and basically they're not helping you when they're not producing units or adding a benefit which is what his buildings were in 